Welcome back guys, uh, this video is going to be regarding how to insert the styles and scripts from dashboard, uh, admin dashboard uh, using a WordPress plugin. I'm creating this uh, video in response to a guy named Daniel, I think that's what his name is. He asked me a question yesterday that he's trying to create a plugin to simply insert code like this. Uh, so he's trying to insert a code like this, he wanted to have an option in the back end. Uh, to allow him to uh, allow the user to insert codes uh, like styles and scripts over here and, and that gets applied on the uh, front end in in the theme and if I'm understanding his query correctly that's that's what it means okay and I mentioned that uh, how to use the settings API correctly okay so and uh, this is basically uh, the code you had written Daniel and uh, if this is uh, something similar that you're looking for as well and this video is going to be for you as well so you're going to learn how to create a plugin uh, so that it allows you to create an option uh, in the backend so that anyone who has absolutely probably no knowledge of coding etc or how to you know uh, insert codes in WordPress files you can just come over here and insert his styles and scripts and that get applied in the front end as well uh, on the theme okay so Daniel uh, let's go ahead and start up then how to do it I'll just show that to you and then I'll I've put the code on my github repository on this link which I'll be adding in the description box as well so you can have a look at it okay so let's begin then so what I've done is I've created a plugin and this plugin call is called the add script uh, plugin okay, let's close this first okay and I've put that in my plugin folder Okay, and inside of which we have created a JavaScript file, uh, which is just empty, it's got nothing inside of it, uh, in the JS folder. And this is my uh, main plugin file. And then I have the readme.md, and then I have the, the style.css, which is again got nothing into it. Okay, so what we want to achieve basically is uh, uh, we want to create a menu over here, admin menu, that allows the user to insert the styles. Uh, and scripts and those styles and scripts should show in the front end okay so how do we do it the first thing we're going to do is uh, we will go ahead and uh, use the WordPress uh, built-in hook which is admin menu so we're going to do add action admin menu and then we're going to create a custom function which is I just create insert code menu and inside of this custom function I'm going to call add menu page function and the job of this function is basically to uh, create a menu over here in the WordPress dashboard backend. So the first parameter it accepts is just the name is the name uh, insert code setting. I've written that insert code is basically the name uh, that'll go over here and insert code setting is the one that goes to the title. So if you hover over it, you can see it says insert code settings. Yep. Yeah. You'll zoom it over here. So the first one, the first parameter is the title of the page and the second parameter is the name of the menu. Uh, then it's the administrator basically has got the rights to do it, do all this. And then uh, the file is basically the URL up until this file. Uh, IHS insert code is basically the function uh, that will create the form. So that's the name of the function we'll mention here. Dashicons admin plugins is the name of the Dashicon that I'm using over here. Uh, in my other video, I've explained uh, you know how to choose between the different Dashicons, uh, so Dash icons basically. Uh, all right. So then you do the add action inside of this custom function and use the admin init hook, and then you also uh, you know second pass the second parameter as another custom function whose job is to register the settings. So this is the custom function I've created, register IHS post tag setting, which is over here. And then the job of this function is basically to register settings. The first parameter it accepts is the uh, a unique name. Okay, uh, so I put that as IHS insert code setting group. And the second parameter is basically the name of the input field. Okay, so we are creating two input fields over here. So the names are IHS style code and IHS script codes and that's what you need to mention over here then you come over here I just insert code uh, which is the same name passed 
over here in the add menu page and in this function which is again our custom function uh, the job of this function is to create a form which is setting page for the plugin inside of this I'm creating a div inside of which you have the heading as insert code which is this heading basically you've got the form make sure you mention options.php over here uh, in the action okay and then you call these two functions which is settings field do settings uh, section this is our WordPress functions to go ahead and take care of the settings and make sure you pass the same unique uh, you know name that you passed as the first parameter in the register settings so the same name basically then you've created two tables uh, you know given these the uh, TR TD and all of that stuff uh, heading is insert style code here so that scores over here and then I've got the text area inside of the label and the name is basically I just style code which is the same name I've used a second parameter on the register setting then uh, we do echo uh, escape HTML get option so get option is basically going to uh, get or anything that the user has stored over here basically okay so whatever the user stores over here and that gets stored into the database under the WP options under the name IHS style codes so that gets uh, you know printed out over here so in case the user saves something and if you say uh, you know click on save uh, save changes that's what it would, it would reflect over here in the text area inside of the text area Similarly, you have another text area, and the name is IHS script code. You do escape HTML, uh, IHS script code, and uh, you know that's what will be printed over here. Okay, so all of that, and then you've got submit button, uh, which is a WordPress function to create this save changes button. Now, outside of this form, um, so basically that's what is going on over here till now. So let's go ahead and uh, write some scripts. So let's say body. I'm going to write some style over here body background background let's say I want to put background as red okay and in the script I just want to do alert hello I click on save changes and sure enough you can see that this settings have been saved and how you're getting it displayed over here is basically by the get option function that's what is being echoed over here if you want to go into the database and check out that that's, a, that's actually being saved uh, and where it's actually it's being saved you can just go to the database I'll go into my local PHP my admin I'll go to WordPress testing which is my WordPress database then I'll go to WP options and I'll look for this option name which is IHS script code and IHS style codes so I'll go ahead and do a search option name is this click enter and sure enough you can see that alert hello has been inserted here similarly for IHS style codes sure enough it's been saved over here if I zoom in you can see that body background red has been saved over here as well okay so this is where the data gets saved uh, register settings and settings field do settings section these are the functions basically responsible for you to save all of this information you don't have to do it manually if you want to get that this data whatever has been saved over here anywhere uh, in your uh, plugin all you have to do is call get option and you know the name of the option which is this basically okay so we've saved the data but how do we actually uh, you know put that in the in the theme in the in the uh, under the head section and the script section how do we do that uh, for that WordPress provides us with the fu uh, functions called WP add inline script which is this function basically <clears throat> and then it provides us with another function which is um, WP add inline style so to include the inline style it provides us with the WP add inline style function and, and to include the inline script it provides us with WP add inline script function so let's go over the first one <clears throat> so basically this is going to ask you for the handle handle is nothing but the uh, unique name for your uh, style sheet uh, whenever you are in, que in queuing it okay and data is basically nothing but the custom style that, that the user has written okay so these are two required fields 
So what we're going to do is, if you look at the example, it says that you need to go ahead and uh, call this function inside of the uh, custom function, which is hooked to WPNQ script. Okay. <clears throat> so if you do an add action, uh, you've got a custom function, IHSNQ custom styles. In fact, I should name it as, okay, let's leave it to style. Okay. Okay, let's change it. Script. Okay. So over here it's saying that uh, you will go ahead and call this function and hook your data. Uh, sorry, uh, you will go ahead and put the first parameter as the uh, hook name of your style sheet. So we have created a style sheet over here, style.cs inside of my plugin. So this is a trick, guys. Obviously, because this function wants us to provide the first parameter as a style sheet hook, uh, unique hook, sorry, unique name, which is the handle basically. Uh, so obviously we didn't have it's okay to create an empty style sheet and, and an empty JavaScript file so that it includes the uh, inline style and inline script uh, just after that particular um, style or script okay so we'll use this function to NQ our style sheet plugin URL is basically going to give me the URL up until our uh, plugin which is this basically and then we are giving the path up until the style.css. Similarly, we are enqueuing the script, which is this JavaScript file. This is the unique handle, plugin URL, and then the path up, up until the JavaScript file. Dependency is jQuery, so, so it will always load after jQuery. This is the version number, which is blank. True means it needs to go into the footer section of your theme. Then we have created a variable custom CSS. We are skipping the HTML for security purposes then we are using get option to get the data that you've stored into the database so this data basically body background red so this is going to be the custom CSS and similarly for custom uh, JS if you check search <clears throat> so the value will be this so custom JS will be equal to this whatever the user has entered in the backend basically over here okay so now we're going to call this function wp add inline style wp add inline script this will be the unique name of the handle this will be again unique name of the script handle and we'll pass these values that we get from the database whatever has been stored over here okay now we're going to hook our custom function to add action and the reason why we are passing this parameter uh, over here so that our style sheet and our script gets loaded after all the uh, styles and scripts of the theme or other plugins that's why we are putting the um, priority as 100 uh, if we don't pass this priority obviously our styles sheet and scripts will be loaded before the other ones probably and then then it may not be applied because you know the other style sheet and other scripts may be overriding us so hence we have used the priority as 100 so it can be a higher priority than the others default priority is 10 as you all know yep great so let's do this <clears throat> now if we go ahead and save the changes go to our theme front end and sure enough you can see that the red color has been applied if you do inspect element click on body you can see the background red property has been applied and that's what users entered over here right if you check the source of the page look for style.css and you can see that this is the add script plugin this is our style sheet basically not this one and you can see that it has been included after the themes style sheet because we have used the priority as 100 if you don't use this if I refresh the page, you can see that that our style sheet is applied uh, earlier and then the theme one. So obviously this won't work. And now you can see that 
we don't have our uh, you know style applied over here in fact the background has been cancelled because the uh, style sheet of the theme has overridden uh, our style sheet so it hence it is important that you uh, mention the priority over here and a higher priority basically and now if you go back you can see that you know our style sheet is loading after the uh, themes style sheet similarly if you check javascript.js you can see that it's been applied over here and it's an inline script that's been applied because of this function that we're using add inline script there's an inline script that's been applied over here okay uh, but if you notice uh, this alert is not functioning properly yeah if you refresh the page it's not alerting anything why why is that is because the reason for this is because we're using escape.js escape.js is basically a wordpress function uh, which is used for validation and sanitization basically uh, escape.js you can see that it's intended for inline javascript but in our situation we can't use it because if we use it then it's going to escape the uh, single quotes and then this won't work so let's remove it and now if you go back refresh the page sure enough this is working fine refresh the page and sure enough you've got a hello uh, you know, applied over here alert thing Similarly for the style sheet, let's go back to the style.css where it's being included. And sure enough, you can see there is an inline style that's been applied over here, which says body, background, red. Yep. Great. Great. And I just custom code style inline CSS. That's the name basically. Give another here. Anyways, so that takes care of the issue. Uh, and I hope, Daniel, that resolves your problem. Uh, if it doesn't or if it was anything different than what you've asked for then you can always you know contact me and, and I'll, I'll try and help you with your query as well okay great perfect so guys if you do like my video do subscribe to my channel uh, and do share it with others you can leave any comments uh, if any questions that you guys have all right take care guys bye, -bye.